Good afternoon, everyone. Please, please uh, turn your Bibles to Philippians. Philippians 3. Verses 4 to 6. So Philippians 3, verse 4 to 6. And please read. So um, we just heard uh, Pastor uh, read the scripture, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And this is the theme of my message today. Let me give some back, background information. This letter is written by Paul to the Philippians to warn them about rituals such as Judaism. I'll start my message today with these three verses. Who is Paul? Well, I'll explain these, these three verses to you very easily. Paul was from a very strong Jewish background. A strong family heritage. A real Hebrew. A Hebrew of Hebrews. By the way, his original name was Saul. Probably named after the king. Paul also had a strong social status. He was in a very prestigious surrounding. Believe it or not, he was a Pharisee. Now we know that Jesus Christ uh, exposed the Pharisees as hypocrites, but let me tell you about two important characteristics of Pharisees. They had great biblical knowledge. They really knew the Word of God. They loved the Word of God. They meditated in it day and night. Now his faith was his faith was in Judaism. 
え彼のこの信仰というのはそのユダヤ人としてのそのえ神を信じる信仰の中にありました。And a zealous faith means a faith that really pursues. He even turned against Christians who were against Judaism. Very strong in religious activity each day. He was faultless in how he lived his life. In those days in Judaism, he followed the rituals, the rules, and so on. I forget when it is, but I think Paul's in jail about 60 AD or 61 AD, writing this letter to the Philippians. And now a great disciple of Jesus Christ. Wow! What a man! Amazing man! What a great reputation as a teacher, very moral, social status. Can you imagine if he was here, you would just look up to him? And I think you may even want to be like him. Personally, if he was here today, I would vote him to be the captain of the Australian rugby team. <laughs> so, this is Paul, what a great man and a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. What does he think of himself? Can you imagine? What does his life mean? What does his life mean? He must think it's just wonderful, awesome. What do you think? Well, honestly, his answer is very different than what I expected. Would you believe he says his life counts for nothing? It's all at a loss. His life means zero, nothing at all. So let's have a look at Philippians 3, verse 7 to 8, and let's read together. Okay, so let's just review just one thing quickly. A man with great family heritage. High social status. A 
amazing biblical knowledge. Zealous faith in his walking Christ. And someone who is faultless lives a perfect moral life. And let me just focus on the word down here. Down is a word you could say is the lowest of lowest of all low words about someone's life. So Paul compares himself, his life, to one thing that counts. So in 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 and 11, you can read later, but he says nothing counts except knowing the greatness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, he's saying that we need to discover Jesus Christ like a treasure. Please turn your Bibles to Matthew 13. Matthew 13, verses 44 to 46. And this explains why he's making a comparison against himself to the Holy One. Pastor Nak and I read in his message, where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. <coughs> Now I can't even compare myself to Paul. It doesn't matter how great you are in your own ability in life. You can go to church all your life. You could do all the duties that surround the church each weekend. But if you're not walking in the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ in you, it means nothing at all. Do you remember the warning that uh, Jesus gave to the virgins? In Matthew 25. In the parable of the talents. When he will judge all nations. 
Even though you've done all these things in your life, God says that I do not know you and He forsakes you. Walk by faith, not by sight. Walk in the Spirit. The Spirit must guide and lead every step that you take in your life today. Otherwise, your life will be fruitless. Twenty-one minutes. Thank you very much, Amen.